adversity happens, what's your reaction going to be? In the lab, we're grinding. Today was a bench day I'm going to do. Bench two times a week as well as squat two times a week. But it's more of like a supplemental day. So I was I did like flat and incline with dumbbells and the barbell with some rows, some shoulder and trap stuff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I, You just got to work and focus on the things that you're lacking in my lat and my bench and squat are both lacking. So, you know, we ran it up. Started it off with some face pull, varying the ways that I'm pulling it, pulling it above the head, holding. Starting with resistance bands is the way to do it. If you don't have resistance bands, you got to get some. Resistance bands honestly change the game. They they provide so, so much resistance, I tell you what. Um... But without resistance bands, your training is 100% lacking. They allow you to isolate movements like this. Kind of just, I find different stretches for resistance bands that work for me, but don't necessarily work for everybody else. And I think that if you get your own resistance bands, you can just find areas to stretch. And you can even have a whole resistance band sesh, which is honestly perfect. You can, you know, you see those dumb ads on YouTube for resistance band. Oh, this is so hard. They are hard, and if you get them, you can supplement your training and make your training better. And then if you got a rack, do band and stuff like West Side Barbell, which would be pretty sick. So I would like to get a rack, but, you know, it is what it is. Got some uh, T-raises with 10s. These are using plates that I got from Oregon. Um, Custom made. Shout out the man, the myth. Uh, It was pretty sick. I picked, picked these plates up. Three tens, two fives, and two forty-five pound plates for like two hundred ten bucks. Super, super good deal. Drove down there at three o'clock in the morning, whipped it in the tundi. It was fire. But having two tens and doing this kind of shoulder warm-up stuff, doing some shrug pull rotate press, makes makes a difference. Gets you all greased up, like I said, and being greased up even for a supplemental auxiliary auxiliary day per se. It, it makes a difference, and so this is an exercise I really like, just focusing on the shrug at the top, 90 degree elbows with the push at the bottom. You can do this as a finisher, as a warm-up. We did this a lot in high school as a finisher, but uh, it really helps. Started off first round of kind of work, I'd say, with some flat bench. On these days, with more of the incline and the lighter weight, higher reps on flat bench, I focus on having my uh, hands wider. My pinkies are on the first you know first bar thing on the bar this is the new rogue ohio bar black oxide i got super dope it spins nice it's ben broke one of our bars so i had to get another one but this is definitely the best bar i've ever used without a doubt for anything for cleaning for benching for squatting it's nice it's hard it's a little bit harder to grip but it's all right these are some uh lighter flies to warm up for the flat bench work and flies these are 15s uh you can see my head kind of moves up which i don't like but i do this when i bench too my my head just goes up it's a habit that i've had you know since vietnam so i'm just rolling with it but seeing myself do it on film i look like an idiot so i gotta switch it up and just keep my head down and not listen to my body but i started off this was the second set 145 no this is I don't know, 145, 155 for 12. So just something light, you know, just focusing on the pushes. Pausing a little bit more on the bottom, which is which is good. You got to have that varied resistance. Definitely makes a difference. This is a two for one film. Super set with some flies. I found towards the end of the workout, I like doing flies with lighter weight these are 30s and you just i just felt the stretch so much in my shoulder like not good and not on my pecs but when i switched up the light weight and focused on flexing my pecs on the way up i definitely felt it more so it's definitely something i'm going to do more just lighter weight with flies but having these new dumbbells is super nice because you can do so much stuff with dumbbells getting ready for some some uh some rows overhand rows you can see my head is down too much. I don't have that nice line, but it's okay. Just holding, focusing on the squeeze. If you just squeeze, 
just concentric movement just squeeze your squeeze your muscles you get more of that mind muscle connection which gets you ready to actually pull weight i i really like overhand rows i i like feeling my lats i think that my back is probably my least developed muscle and so focusing on the stuff that gets my lats warmed up is nice this is a 165 for eight uh no problem i gotta i just gotta be okay with pushing lighter weight on these auxiliary days you know you see the head look like a turtle but the way it, it moves fast you can see my elbows locking out at the top which is fine just taking those big breaths just take a breath pump it out better reps in more time is better than crappy reps just pumping them out Overhand row, underhand rows at 135, closer grip. Mm, these are money. I feel so cool when I do these because, you know, when you see somebody rowing 135, I respect it, honestly. I respect it. Switch it up to incline, incline dumbbell bench. These are uh, 30s because the highest dumbbell we have goes to 30. Did This was a set of 20, which is nice. Our bench is real trash you see my legs swinging around it's because it's so unstable it's hard to hard to keep everything going um but it's all right it's the way it goes you know you just gotta you just gotta focus on focus on your legs swinging this was uh the top no this is 185 first set of incline bench uh switch it up found the grip you know i wanted to do 205 for incline but, dude, my strength has definitely gone down the past couple weeks. But it is what it is. You see my legs swinging again? Boop, popped up. I've done 225 incline on this, but, you know, some days are better than others. I was real motivated this morning. Um, felt good after a long night at Costco, but it still still happened. Shrugs. This is the best clip of the whole day. Look at those legs. Uh, legs are the best body part for sure. That was two twenty five. Just focusing on the focusing on the pull and not pushing on my hamstrings. This is an exercise I've done more in the past month. Seated overhead press. This is fifteen on each side. Um, I like I like how you can focus more on just your shoulder stuff and not have so much weight on your lumbar lumbar spine, lower back, which is nice. This is the last exercise of the day. Some pullovers. You know, you see my, my hips are down pretty low, which is definitely what you want to look for. You really, If you go slow on this stretch, you really feel it in your lats, which I enjoy. Just getting that lat pump, you dig? Um, it, would, it would definitely be nicer to do this with a 100-pound dumbbell. But if you just do higher reps, you'll get the same kind of same kind of ting, I think. Um, so just that's an exercise that not very many people do. You get your triceps, your chest, your back, everything. And so this is just kind of the last last little tidbit of knowledge I'd give I'd give for the day. But write down your stuff in a journal. I I've, I've been writing my stuff down for a while, year, year and a half. And it makes a difference. When you hold yourself accountable, it's it's real nice to just have something have something that keeps you grounded, you know? So I'd encourage every one of you guys to Write your stuff down because it makes a difference. All right. Peace.